Hello everyone, my name is Prodesilaos, also known as Prod. In a previous video, perhaps a week or so ago, I showed you how to use the built-in directory editor of Emacs, Dired, in combination with the Bongo music player to manage your music collection in a simple yet effective manner. In this video, I want to build on that knowledge and show you how to use the same tools to store your playlists and play them back at a moment of your convenience. By store your playlists, I mean a curated list of music files that you purposefully save in a file and you can play it back whenever you want. So let's switch to my Emacs window over here. I already have screen key active, so you can see my key presses at the lower part of the screen. Uh, what I am uh, looking at right now is a diared buffer. Uh, this is uh, the detailed view and I prefer to toggle, by default I have the simple view. You can toggle it with the left parenthesis. So let's start with the universal help, uh, sorry, the universal help command for the major mode we are in. Control H M. And I will show you how we are about to uh, tackle this issue. Uh, and here we find, of course, lots of uh, useful information over here, uh, documentation about the diode mode. But what we are interested in right now is the um, key binding W inside of a diode buffer, which will invoke the function diode copy file name as kill. And if we click on this, we can read the documentation about it, about how to use it. Uh, I will let you read this at your own pace. Instead, I will show it to you in practice. When you are over an item in Dyard, if you press the letter W, it will copy its name uh, to the kill ring. It will add it to the kill ring. So you can see in the echo area that it has copied the name of the current directory. If, however, I pass to this command the universal argument with the number 0, so control U and 0 and then W, it will copy, as you can see in the echo area, the full file system path to the item at point. When it comes to the universal argument, and this is something that applies to Emacs in general, uh, if you want to pass a single digit number, you don't have to press control U and the number. You can just press control and the number directly. So in this case, control zero and then W will copy the full file system path and it will add it to the kill ring. So now we have stored this directory to the kill ring. This directory, by the way, contains other directories and inside of them we have some music files. But don't worry about that right now. Let's create a new directory and let's call it uh, playlists. And uh, let's generate the buffer again so that it is sorted properly. And let's open the playlists in a new window. And inside of this empty directory for now, let's create a new file. And let's call this electronic because that's what uh, I, am having, uh, I have over here. And let's yank the thing we copied earlier. We see it's the full file system path to the directory I copied earlier. And let's save this. And now let's uh, switch to the Bongo playlist. As I showed in the previous video, which by the way I will link to in the description, um, my um, music directory and all of its subdirectories are configured to also work as a bongo library. This is something that you have to check in my previous video, but basically the idea is that I can uh, add tracks from inside the diode, add tracks to bongo and play them back. But this means also that I can switch, I can hop to the bongo playlist with the letter H. So this is the bongo playlist. This is the standard uh, playlist you will see when you first uh, open the playlist. And what you can see over here is that you can use the letter I to insert things directly into playlists. So let's press capital I and this is giving us a menu here with various options. In this case, we are interested in the playlist contents. So we select that and then we select the file that we want uh, that contains our playlist. This is the file that I have here on my right. So we insert this and it has inserted all the music in uh, that uh, file. So it has inserted that directory recursively. So 
the directory, all of its subdirectories, and all of the music files therein. And uh, do I have some music? Of course I do. I don't want to uh, play it back, but it works. So let's go back uh, to uh, the uh, directory editor. And uh, let me show you now some pitfalls of this approach. Uh, if you save, let's come over here rather, and uh, let's create a new file now. So uh, um, false, let's call it false, because I will show you what the problem is. Uh, what I showed with the item at point, with copying the item at point, also works uh, when you have marks. So if you press Control 0 and then W, it will again copy all the marked items. This is expected behavior. This is good. We want that. But if you uh, paste this over here, if you yank it over here, this is not a valid playlist. For this to be a valid playlist, you need to have every file system path on its own line. So you need to have something like this rather than what I had earlier, sorry, what I had earlier, let's have it again, which was this thing over here. The first line is invalid, the others are valid. So when it comes to something like this, the better approach is to record the macro if you want to uh, have um, the directories as this. So let's say we record the macro. So I start the simple way, I press the F3 key, and it is now recording a macro. So what I want to do with this macro, very simply, is copy the item at point, move to the next window, yank the item, create a new line. Sorry, what did I do? Ah, yeah, sorry, I pressed delete. Create a new line, and then switch back to the other window, and close the macro over there. So I... I did something wrong. I pressed something wrong. Sorry, sorry. Let me do this again very quickly. I was a bit clumsy. F3 to record the macro. Control 0 W to copy the item at point. Then go to the new window. Yank it in. That seems correct. And now let's close the macro over there. That seems correct. So now you can uh, move to the directory you are interested in and just append it by pressing F4. So you see how that works? F4, I was a bit clumsy earlier, but you can see now that it works as intended. So you can very quickly add items to a playlist like this instead of the false um, uh, formatting that I showed earlier. And this, of course, will play uh, just as expected. I don't need to uh, verify it now. You can do it on your own and see for, your for yourself. I am 100% sure that this works. And because these are directories, it will uh, add their contents recursively. So you might not want that. Instead, you might want to add uh, just a few music items. You can do that as well. And you can do this uh, by marking some items. So let's say I have these items over here. And let's say I also have a few from here. Uh, I don't know, I have uh, these. So I have these marked items, Control 0 and W, so you can see in the echo area what it has marked over there. And let's come over here, sorry. I am trying, by the way, I am trying to use the default keys when I am doing these demos. And sometimes I get confused with the keys that I have uh, that involve the super key, they are convenience keys, aliases for the common commands. For example, Control X O, is tedious. I prefer to have super and O, but sometimes I get confused when I'm doing these demos. Anyhow, so for this, if I want to create a file, for example, it's super and F. So let's create a new file. Let's call it world. So this is the new playlist. And if I yank in all those marks that I copied earlier, I can see that this is a mess. This will not play. This is not a valid playlist. To make it valid, as we said, we need one uh, file system path per line. But because these are all MP3 files, it's very easy to do it from inside of here. I will record the macro and search for MP3. You can see over here. And I want to delete the space between uh, the two files and replace it with a new line. And now I want to close the macro over there. Now, if I start running the macro again, it will uh, add every item to the new line as per my instructions. But when it comes to something like this, you can pass 
the zero universal argument, so control zero, or alt and zero in this case, meta and zero, you can pass the universal argument to the macro invocation, which means to run it until the end of the file. Actually, it's to run it until you encounter an error, but in this case, it's the same thing. So control zero and F4, and it formatted the buffer, uh, the playlist properly. Let's save this. That works fine. So let's go back to Bongo. This, as we said, is an empty playlist, nothing here. And let's insert again a playlist and uh, inside of the playlists world. So do we have what we were expecting to have? And there it is. There it is, folks. Uh, is it playing? It is playing. You can hear it. No need to do that. Uh, so you can see how it is. These, of course, uh, these files uh, will persist, of course, so you can uh, add them to your Bongo playlist whenever you want. Uh, these files are, they have nothing special about them. This is plain text. It's just a file system path per line. You can edit these inside of Emacs or inside of any other uh, text editor for reasons. I don't know why you would use another text editor when you have Emacs. Anyhow, you can edit them wherever you want. They are very portable. That's the idea. I know that there are some other um, um, formats for playlists that also embed meta information. That's what I read somewhere. But uh, my use case is very, very simple, very straightforward. This is the most I would ever need for, from a playlist. I don't need meta information. I don't need any kind of complexity in my life. This is all I need because I will just add these contents to the Bongo playlist, hit the play key and then get to work and not worry too much about it. I won't be spending any time inside of this uh, just making sure that the, um, I don't know, the names of the tracks are correct. I don't really care. It's the music that matters that plays in the background. If, however, uh, you know about uh, such um, more advanced uh, playlist formats, I would assume that you can uh, implement the principles that I have showed here uh, or adapt things uh, accordingly. I would expect it to be a similar kind of process. So I guess that covers it. As I said, I will link in the description to the previous video that I did on uh, Dyard and Bongo. And also I will link to my .emacs from where you can find my configurations for Bongo. They are very simple, as I said, I, as I also say in the previous video, because my needs are very straightforward, nothing special about them. Anyhow, I guess that covers it. That's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention, folks. Goodbye.